Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to automate an Android backups using Tasker. Now to get this one going, there are a few requirements. First, you'll have to have a custom recovery installed, and I definitely recommend TWRP for that. Secondly, your device will need to be rooted, and you'll also need to have a file browser that's capable of extracting zips. Then the last requirement is that you'll need to have Tasker installed, which is normally a paid app, but I have a free trial version linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. But once you've got all those requirements out of the way, the first thing you'll need to do is download a zip file from developer Cancher that actually contains the Tasker profiles and tasks that will automate the Nandroid backup process on your phone. Then once you've downloaded the zip file, open up your favorite file explorer app then navigate to your device's download folder, and from here, long press the zip and choose Extract. It would also be a good idea to make a note of where that extracted folder is on your storage device because that will come in handy later. But once you've taken care of that, the next thing to do is open up Tasker and head to the main menu here. From here, tap the Profiles tab at the top of the screen and choose Import. Then hit this back button a couple times to head out to your main storage partition and locate that extracted zip from earlier. From here, tap the Nandroid Backup Profile and it will automatically import into Tasker. Next up, just repeat that same process, hit the Import button back out a couple of times, go to the extracted zip, and this time import the Nandroid retention profile. Now at this point you're almost all set up and ready to go, but if you'd like to change the default scheduling on these profiles, there are a few options that you can tweak. First up, if you expand that Nandroid backup profile, you'll see the time that your Nandroid backups are scheduled to take place. If you'd like to change that from 6.30 a.m., just tap that entry there, then use this menu to change it to a different time. Beyond that, these profiles are set up to run an Android backup automatically every three days. And when you've accumulated three Android backups, it'll delete the oldest one when it's adding a new one. If you'd like to change any of that, head to the Tasks tab, then for starters, tap this TWRP Backup task. From here, tap this first action in the task, then change this value in the To field to the amount of days you would like to go in between backups. So for instance, it's set to three days now. I can set it to once a week by entering seven here. Then if you'd like to change the amount of backups that are saved before the oldest one is deleted, go to this TWRP retention task. From here again, tap the first action in the task, then change the value in the to field to however many backups you'd like to keep before the oldest one gets deleted. Once you've got that all set up, you'll need to run your first backup manually. So tap the TWRP backup task again, and then press this play button in the bottom left corner. From here, it'll execute a few of the actions in the tasks. And then within a minute or two, Tasker should pop up asking for super user access. So hit grant when you see that. From there, it'll boot into custom recovery automatically and start performing your first backup. But from now on, that'll happen automatically and silently in the background. Pretty cool, right? But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.